That's your song, y'all sing along with me. It was all that I could do to keep from crying. Sometimes it seems so useless to remain. You don't have to call me darling, darling. You never even call me by my name. You don't have to call me Waylon Jennings. You don't have to call me Charlie Pride. And you don't have to call me Merle. Anymore, even though you're on my fight side, and I'll hang around as long as you will let me. No, I never minded standing in the rain. You don't have to call me, darling, darling. You never. I've heard my name a few times in your phone book. I've seen it on signs where I play. But the only time I know I'll hear David Allen Coe is when Jesus has his final judgment day. You don't have to call me darling, darling. You never even called me by my name. Well, a fellow named Steve Goodman wrote this here song. He's a great songwriter. Wrote a lot of great songs in his life. He was from Chicago, see? All the songs he had written, he thought he could tackle a country and western song. So after he wrote this song, he sent it to one of country music's biggest rebels, David Allen Coe, claiming he had written the perfect country and western song. Well, David Allen Coe immediately wrote him back and said that that was not at all the perfect country and western song. Cause he said nothing at all in that song about mama or trains. Or trucks. Or prison. <laughs> or getting drunk. So, being the great writer Steve Goodman was, he decided to add another verse to the song. David Allen co received it and agreed his friend had written the perfect country and western song. So, if you know it, sing it with me on three. One, two, three. I was drunk the day my mom got out of prison. It sounded beautiful. And I went to pick her up in the rain. But before I could get to the station in my pickup truck, she got run over by a damn old train. Oh, you don't have 